Hey guys, welcome to Onward Gaming Adventures. My name is Alex, and today I've got a quick little tutorial for you in Unturned. Now, first off, I gotta apologize. Uh, we haven't been putting up uh, the same amount of videos as we did this this week as we normally do. We actually haven't put up any before this one this week, and that's just because I've been sick. Uh, yeah, starting about the beginning of this week, spring break started off just wonderfully with a cold um, and my voice kind of hasn't been all there today is like the first day that it's like really been all back enough for me to make a video and Ricky's been on vacation so anyway on to the tutorial uh, I've been playing a lot of arena mode on unturned I just love battle royale style uh, gameplay and in most games it's like the most fun you can have uh, and Unturned is no different. It's, it's really, really, really fun. Uh, anyway, something has happened to me quite a bit. I've died a lot to that person that sneaks up on you when you're looting stuff. Like, you're looking for some backpack, or you're looking for med supplies in a small town or house or anything. And you just hear that, that quick little, little pitter-patter of someone sneaking up on you. Well, so what do you do? I normally would whoop, crouch down and I'd hide and I'd lay in wait for them. But let's say you want to take the fight to them. You want to surprise them before they can come at you. Because let's say they have some crazy gun that can completely outgun you or they, they hear one of your steps before you, you go prone and they know exactly what to expect. Well, so here's something that they won't expect bunny hopping <laughs> so I don't I don't I've not actually seen anybody use this in an arena match uh, actually I've never heard it never seen anybody use this in a normal like just PvP server uh, because it's it's sort of hard to do not super difficult but it's sort of hard to do and it's not exactly what most people would think of doing in a situation like this but what you can do is if you hold down your jump key and your forward key, you'll bounce forward. You'll do this bunny hopping motion. And you'll touch the ground just long enough to bounce up again, but you won't touch it long enough to actually make a noise. Now, you can't sprint when this happens. If you sprint, you'll go much, much less distance, and there is a much greater chance that your feet will make a noise when you touch down again before you make a bounce. So you, what you gotta do is you just gotta hold down the jump key and the forward key. No sprinting, no nothing. It's still pretty fast, much, much, much faster than, crawl, than uh, crawling, and it's just as quiet. So let's say there's somebody around this corner, and you're, you're waiting here and you're listening, you only have a few shots left in your gun, my gun has completely nothing. It doesn't even have a mag in it. Um, let's say you just want to get the drop on them. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with, by holding down your jump key first, not walking. Walking will, if you hold down your forward key, you'll make that one first step before you, before you jump. And that might give away your position just a little bit. So you're going to jump, and then you're going to move, and then just spray and pray. Or if, I don't know, iron sights and take them out. And that's not something that they're going to expect. I mean, who who's going to expect someone jumping at you with that amount of speed? That's just something completely out of the blue. So, for 100 XP, uh, not XP, but for 100 exp um, stamina, which is what you start with at the beginning of uh, whenever you have your stamina full, you'll get about 10 jumps, because each jump will use about 10 X, uh, 10 Stamina. Man, I keep saying XP. Um, because you can actually upgrade this with XP later. Like, let's say you've already taken someone out in this arena match. You can use that XP. I think it's 100 or so you get from every kill in arena mode. You can use that XP and put it into more stamina. So just in case someone you do hear someone around the corner, you can start running start and just take them out. With, uh, with 10 jumps, you can you can actually get pretty far. If you saw there, I started all the way in that corner, and I rounded both of these corners to take the guy out. Completely silent, really quick, and you can get the drop on people. 
I don't know what's not good about this. The only bad thing is that after you're done your 10 jumps, you have no stamina. So that so just in case like you're completely out of out of ammo, you can't run away at all. So this is kind of a, a last ditch effort if you're if you're down on your stuff. Uh, anyway, that's actually just about it. Just to kind of kind of recap. Uh, start by holding down your jump key, jump key first, and then moving. Jump key and then W. Jump key and then W. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> if you like this tutorial and you might have found it useful in uh, in PvP, then make sure to leave a like down below. If you have any ideas or critiques or anything or that can improve this, make sure to leave a comment. And if you want to see anything like this further on in the future, make sure to subscribe. Anyway guys, my name's Alex. Bye bye.